Okay, today we're going to create a jumbled up sentence exercise using the JMix potato. So we'll just click on JMix. And what you're presented with is a screen where you can enter the, the main sentence in its various parts and potentially alternative variations of that sentence because sometimes a sentence can be reordered differently um, and still have the same or similar meaning. Okay, so we're going to give it a title, Jumbled Sentence Exercise. And then what I have is some text already, I can just paste in there. And what you have to do, this is the whole sentence in the correct order, but each part of the sentence that you're going to jumble has to be on a separate line. So instead of just one big long sentence, I've typed in the first part and then pressed return, typed in the next part, pressed return. So each bit is on a separate line. It then jumbles those separate segments for you, uh, for, it, for the student who's doing the exercise. Okay, if you don't have alternative sentences, and I don't, that's really all you have to do. You now save the file using the little disk button. Again, as always with Hot Potatoes, I've created a folder just specifically for this quiz, called it Jumbled. And I'll call this Jumble 1 master because this is the master file that I can get back into if I want to in the future and update or change. I then need to save a version for the students to use which is a web page and you've got two choices here. The first one creates um, a, a selection of drop on a drop down menu and you, you can put them into order and the second one is drag and drop which is far more suitable. We'll choose that one today so that you can see this and we'll save it as jumbled and we'll call it student and again in the same folder so everything's in the right location. It's going to ask you should uh, the first part I've got a capital letter on the letter the word most should it always begin with a capital letter even when it isn't at the beginning of a sentence so so that we're not giving the student an extra clue I'm going to say no it shouldn't begin with a capital letter because the word most is not a, a proper name. We're ready now to view the exercise in the browser and beware uh, as is normal with hot potatoes, you may have a blocking message. Um, you just simply allow the blocked content, this is very common with hot potatoes, and then you see the full exercise on the screen. The learner can then pick up whichever part of the sentence they think comes first. Again, I have given a bit of a clue there because I've left the full stop in, so they would presume that is the end of the sentence. So most controls offer a choice of using a format that you... No, I don't think that's right, actually current theme or using a format that you specify directly. No, in fact I'm completely wrong, so let's check the answers. Try it again. Okay, most controls offer a choice of using the loop from the current theme using a format that you specify directly. So now we should say it's correct, but we don't get full marks again because Hot Potatoes weights the answers and we didn't get it right the first time. So that's how you create a jumbled up sentence in Hot Potatoes.